My name is Kirk Carpenter and I'm the fire chief for the City of Nampa Fire Department. My name is Jamie Burns, I'm a lieutenant with the Nampa Police Department. Hi, I'm uh, Aaron and I'm a uh, driver operator and paramedic with the Nampa Fire Department. I'm also a member of our peer support program. To answer the question of why is mental wellness important to us? So I would say that unfortunately more and more we're seeing um, officer involved shootings we're, we're responding to calls that again are are bad calls for service and that, that have a lot of effect of everybody that responds. As a department and then I would suggest us as a city um, for our employees is our our people are our most valuable resource. Normally for most people when they when they start when their job starts affecting them it's not because of that one single 911 call that we've been on it's you know anybody who's been in this our first responder for a while knows that when it tends to rain, it pours. When it's one bad one, 911 call, it tends to just have a cascade effect. It's one right after the other. Uh, and in the fire department, you know, if we don't have healthy, well, uh, both physically and mentally well employees, then there's no one to put water on the fire. There's no one to care for our community. And even beyond that, if we have first responders showing up that aren't well, then not only could they be more at risk of being harmed uh, physically and mentally, but we could, uh, in effect, not be giving the best service to our community. So I think the message that we need to um, be putting out there is that we need to be open to change that, you know, the old days, um, again, where if somebody responded or some, somebody was involved in a shooting, um, back in the day, they got back in their patrol car and they continued on with their shift, right? Um, and we have a shift in culture now where we need to recognize that our men and women are needing to go seek uh, the resources to help recover from these critical incidents. Now the good thing we're finding is, you know, a post-traumatic stress injury is one of the easiest injuries to treat as long as you get help. If you help it, uh, we, can, we can rework those pathways so that it's not injuring you anymore. It's, it's something that you know how to handle. It's shown that uh, uh, people who, you know, are having some stress from the job, and if they're given the opportunity to talk um, with, with their colleagues and coworkers about the stuff that they're going through, you know, the other people that are experiencing it too, other people that were on the same 911 calls, they tend to have far less you know, long-term stress reactions than those who didn't get that opportunity. And uh, we really just want to make sure that, you know, just take care of yourself. One thing I would like to see is we need more and more first responders, uh, veterans that are willing to come, come forth and, exp and share their experiences on um, their, their suffering or their, the pains that they're experiencing as a result of whatever they went through. Um, we need more people that are willing to come forth again and show that human side of what we do.